the cheap one. But high-end leatherworking stuff is really good. I got said interrupted, but it still gave me the thing. Andy. I mean, all this stuff is really expensive to do later on, but... Where's the... Oh, the bank's over here. Is that the bank? Alright, where is the guild? It's not here, that's for sure. Okay. Wool. Silk will go there. More wool. Mage weave. Let's go thick leather there. Heavy. I don't have a spot for it. Only for that. Let's put the bolts up. Yeah, I'm gonna have to throw. I'm gonna have to pick up some bags and throw them in there eventually. All right, that's a start. I can't do rugged hides or thick hides yet. That's the next thing I'm gonna get. Where's the guild bank? Is there not one here? Excuse me. What brings you here? Guild master and vendor? I would think the bank would be near there. Yeah, let's let's check that out. Ancestors. Engineering. Mining. Tabard vendor. Guild master, guild vendor. Oh well. Not that important. I'll worry about it later. I was just going to drop off the lockboxes, but I'll hold on to them for now. In that case, let's fly over to Teten... To 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 uh, when we're Call here. Me, I aid you. Be careful. Gadgets on. I have gadgets on, and there's two more flight paths. All right. Wow. Trika trying to be very specific in Thunder Bluff, telling me that the guild bank is next to the totem. <laughs> That's like going to Orgrimmar and saying it's next to the red building. I uh, almost got to Northrend Outland? No. Almost Outland, yes. Almost Northrend, no. Hey, you know that place in Stormwind? Yeah, it's a brick building. You can go to Northrend at 58 now? Ugh. Nah, I'm gonna go to Outland. Northrend's nice, but I'm gonna go to Outland. I like that. I like that area better. I'll do Northrend at the same time I normally would have. So at 68 or 70. Howling Fjord and Borean Tundra are 58 to 80s. Well, good for them. Yeah, that one literally was sleeping. There's another one off the That's cute. You're entitled to your opinion? Okay. <laughs> I'm assuming you disagree with me then. I liked Northrend, don't get me wrong. I just liked Outland better. That's where all my memories are from. All my WoW memories. I spent... I probably spent twice as much time in the Outland than I did in any other area of the game. Including Azeroth. Like, I would burn up to 58 and then go to Outland and stay there the whole time. You think they're lackluster in terms of design except for Nagrand? Well, you're also entitled to your opinion. <laughs> 
I won't deny that Nagrand is easily the best zone out there. Nagrand is amazing. Trying to think of all the places. Outland. Hellfire Peninsula. I liked Hellfire. I liked Terracar. I liked Nagrand. Uh actually I spent like almost all my time in these three zones. I did do some blade blade edge mountains. I wasn't very big on Zanger Marsh. And I don't remember. I don't remember Shadow Moon or Nether or uh, Netherstorm. I do remember Blade Edge Mountains. This was nuts. This was so hard to get around. I mean, you you could fly, so it wasn't that hard, but I got so turned around. There was a place with the biodomes and the Area 51 place. I don't know what that is. I like Terracar because Terracar is where Akondun is, isn't it? Isn't Akondun down here? Akondun was amazing. Had the best zone, the best dungeons, in my opinion. Thralmar, Spinebreaker, Falcon Watch, Archie Down. Akondun, it's not that hard. <laughs> okay. So let's pick up some quests here. Time is money, friend! There can't there gotta be more than two hey, quests, how right? You doing? Hey, here we go. Time is money, friend. What's up? <laughs> Glad I could help. Keep it real. Thunderdome, what? I just immediately failed this. What the hell? Oh, it was this quest. Oh, that's fine. I didn't want to do that anyway. Abandon. Alright. Alright, let's go... First things first, let's go to the other flight paths. Because they're going to be where most of the quests are. It's a group quest? Yeah. I saw that once I moused over it and it was all like suggested threes. I was like, oh, well, never mind then. Not very many people group quest, really. I mean, you and I did for a while, but most people solo quest. At least from my experience. I hope this place has heavy leather as well. Sand Lasher. These are enemies? He's right there. Uh, I have to summon him. They're both my pets, yes, I'm sorry. You're right. My bad. No, I'm not upset. I'm just tired. 
No, that's okay. There's there's never happy and flex out my voice. <laughs> It's a flower. Yeah, sorry. Yep. Wow, there's nothing here. Disappointing. I forgot to stable my extra pet. You're right, I did. Maybe that's why Baka sent me. Like, oh, I would totally do that for you. Yeah, that's probably why Baka sent me here. She's like, there's no quests out there. Go out there, Matt. There's nothing there. Oh, I sent him on a wild goose chase. Baka just messaged me and said, I'm level 57. You bitch. <laughs> okay, there's a place down here. She's taunting me. Cappy, she's being mean. I deserved it, though. Hey, a snake. 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 Have I leveled in any of the Eastern Kingdoms? No, I'm avoiding it intentionally. I've done some of the dungeons out there, but I have not done any questing. I want to do the Eastern Kingdoms once I get overleveled. I'll come back and do Eastern Kingdoms then. Ooh, what is that? That looks awesome. Why is that? I don't know. I prefer Kalimdor. Saving it for another character? No. I agree, there are some cool zones over there. No arguments. Everybody is everybody is assuming I hate the the Eastern Kingdoms now. Have you quested over there? No, not yet. Why? What's wrong with it? There's good stuff over there. What are you doing? I'm like, calm down guys, it's okay. <laughs> I didn't say I hated the Eastern Kingdom. I hated Terran Mill leveling up originally, because Terran Mill was, like, heavily infested with, like, that was a prime camping area for Alliance at the time. Quickly, quickly! The dark times Let's go back to Gadget then. You're just wondering why I'm waiting to be overleveled? Because cause I want to? Is that acceptable? I feel like I'm in trouble now. Your opinion differs from mine, and now I don't like you. Yeah, I know, right? Huh? <laughs> Welcome to the internet. Yeah. You have a difference of opinion from me, and now I hate you. Is Tenaris the zone with all the ogres? Yeah, here's the ogre camp. The Dead Mall Enforcers. I loved that area. I remember doing that now. No, no specific reason. It's not that I hate the area, I just I just like Kalimdor. I always leveled in Kalimdor, so I'm familiar with the zones more. Even when I had a Blood Elf or an Undead, I would go catch I would go outside of Undercity, catch the thing, fly over to Orgrimmar, and then go down and level in Durotar instead. <laughs> Up. 
right back. Cool. Now that now that guy wants me to fight. Play the game. Now he sounds bitter. Play the game however you want. <laughs> I'm sure he didn't say it like that, but that's that's how I read it. So. Like, eh, whatever, play the yeah. Game you want. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. He he responded. Yeah. Play the game however you want, bitch. <laughs> nice. It's exactly how I thought. I... Hooray for meat! Alright, cool. I can still skid it. Cool. Thank you. Hey, heavy leather. Awesome. I don't have Never last has always struck me as an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love you. Hey, a giant. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Did that guy just fart? I think he just water farted. What's this? Where'd you come from? He came from behind. Big mouth clam. <laughs> that clam got a big mouth. Turtle, turtle. Yeah, see that that guy ain't got no spines on him. I'm out of here. Say say what? Yeah, dude. Instead of toothless. That too. Toothless is cool. You like the water here? Well, there's not much of it. <laughs> this is like the only place in the zone with water. Yeah, well, there's no depth to it. It's like, it's just deep enough to require you to swim, but not deep enough where you can go under the surface. Well, I have to kill a lot of these dudes. I thought I only had to kill, like, five. Kill eight. Well, not hard. No, 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 no. I just thought I was almost done. <laughs> This reminds me of hunting hill giants in EverQuest. But the hill giants would literally murder my face. Every single one. That was an MMO not for the weak at heart. That game was brutal.
there's all of them. Now, I need more basilisks. They're all over here. Here we go. Nope. That bitch didn't loot her crap. You hook her. No, nah, that one I can skin. And that too. It's like she knew I was a skinner. She's all like, I'm just gonna leave this shit here. <laughs> you hook her. <laughs> I'm assuming there's a there's a looting add-on that will configure your auto loot so that it will leave all of the the vendor trash behind but it'll loot uh like merchant like merchantable stuff why didn't i use the bot on that one that was dumb loot like money quest items uh colored loot um thank you and then probably uh probably profession stuff Yeah, dude, Speedy is awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah, see, I just looted a uh, tough, scorpid shoulders. Leatherworking 240. Well, I haven't broken 200 yet, so it'll be a while, but... I'll learn it at 240. I like how it gives me credit for it, and then I end up skinning the animal before he gets there to butcher it. And I'm just like, ha ha ha. Chop, chop. Mm -hmm. I looked at LVUI, and first off, I LVUI has like a million variants. So when somebody told me like you should look into LVUI, I googled it, or I went to the Twitch thing and like searched up LVUI, and there's like forty hundred different versions. It's crazy. So I was all like, well, not looking through all of those. And then they all looked so simple. They were all just square boxes. And I was just like, ugh. Looks gross. It's a different it's a different user interface for the game that you can use. Well, spit it out. See you around, friend. It is possible that maybe they were just like trying to display everything in the crappiest way possible, but... What's up? Keep it real! Alright, what did I get now? Fire rocks harvested. Life rockets delivered and South Sea, South sea blockaders slain. That's the other way. Oh, it's right here. Let's go do this. 
being very sleek and customizable. It didn't look customizable at all to me, but I didn't actually try it, so that's fair. I have to get into this thing. Oh. What is this? Deliver life rocket, pirate destroying bomb. Convenient. Oh, we're going towards the ships. Nice. Well, it won't let me do it yet. Can I do it now? Please? Boring. the fifth spot. Alright, cool. Now let's kill some pirates. I can't see where that's... I want to go kill pirates. Take me by the, by the ship. I want to throw bombs at him. Get bombed. Boom, sucker. They're all dead. Oh, I'm done. Just kidding. <laughs> I just wrap a rocket to my back and get back that way. That's funny. That was a fun quest. I like those. That's funny. I got an achievement though for for falling far and not dying. I think that's that's specifically the distance there is specifically set yeah. so that you always fall the right distance without dying. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I guess you're right. Never last. What's shaken? Keep your ear to the ground. Alright. Now. Fire rocks harvested. And then stuff over there. Let's go do fire rocks. I think I'm going to hit 55. I think when I hit 55, I'll go back to Thunder Bluff. Level up skinning, because I can. But you guys need to remind me to put one of my pets away.
No, nope, not a bro. What a birds are beasts, right? Is, here's a question. Do any of you guys know if there is a uh, uh, an add-on that puts quest information on the minimap up here? <laughs> not you. <laughs> Bye. I don't know who that is. The bird. Because I like to have like the circles and stuff appear up here. Like this blue outline, I'd like it to be here. <laughs> you know, I noticed I'm out of range. I need to get closer. He's too far away. I noticed that my warrior can do that, but this guy can't. And so I'm I'm thinking it may be a setting I don't have ticked off. I can't use that item yet. But I was thinking maybe if it's a glitch and like I can't get it fixed, then I don't know what it is. I don't know what the setting is called. I was kind of hoping somebody, one of you guys knew what it was. I mean, no, I haven't. Because I didn't know what was causing it. But they just said it might be a setting, so... I forgot to skin. I can't skin birds. Birds are non-skinnable. Oh. Yeah, I can jump into a ditch and pull their feathers off. System, nope, interface, display, outline mode, in add-on to quest objective. In addition to quest objectives, selected outlines can be turned on or off for mouse over. But this is... Status text. Display text as numbers, percentage, or both. None. Hmm. Enable square minimap, no. Huh. Interesting. Oh yeah? If you can tell me where that is, I can confirm it. I need to get Yeah. Yeah. The outer circle doesn't really. No, the little 
That's tracking. Track quest POIs. Okay. Let me poke around for a few minutes and see if that has an effect. Because I'm in the middle of an area right now, so I can't tell the difference of between an, a good area and not a good area. I can't zoom out any further. Oh, there's a blue line. Oh, and when I mouse over, now it says 9 out of 12 rocks on the minimap. If I mouse over here where there's no line, <laughs> that's what it was. It was track quest POIs. Yay. Thanks, Cappy. I think as a hunter, I may have, like, I think if I hit none, yeah, see, if I hit none, it takes oh, that off. That, that must be what you're doing, because you I, to track none. I bet you the hunters, hunters probably have that problem more often than others. That, because uh, hunters, hunters will go click on none, because they don't want to track whatever it is they're tracking right now. When I was looking at Google, it said, uh, tracking quest on the Please don't hurt me. Thank you. Yeah, now I know. So if I ever accidentally turn it off again, I know I know where it is to turn it back on. You're being corpse killed in Angoro Crater. That sucks. That's where you were getting corpse killed before. Yeah, that's where I was getting camped. You can try you can try talking in general chat of the uh, of the zone and see if there are any high level horde players that can come and help you out. Just tell them, hey, I'm over here and the high level alliance guy keeps camping me. And sometimes there'll be a couple of high level horde dudes just hanging out and they'll come help you. Uh but if not, you you may just have to Either drag it back to the Time town. Well, Ungoro is a bad place because you can't on. really drag your corpse anywhere. Every place is a is a uh, contested. Yeah, Go for it. there are no like real alliance or horde areas. They're all both. But yeah, if it gets too bad, you'll just have to camp and go to a different character. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like my PayPal account went through properly with that one Alliance player. I'm all like, shh, Bak. Bak is going to Ungoro Crater. Chase her over there and camper. That would be like the most dick move ever. How do I write in world chat again? I don't know. I, I went to where it said, like, general and just clicked on it. Yeah, but I forgot how that's done. I guess you could click this. Oh yeah, you could click on this and go raid instance group, yell, whisper, emote. Hmm, it's not there either. I don't know how that's done. Slash one. Oh, well that's easy. What's okay. what's slash two? There is no slash two. Yeah, when you were getting camped in Angoro, you finally just camped in place. Yeah, yeah. When I was getting camped, when I was getting corpse farmed in Ungoro, I just eventually quit, played a different character for a while. It sucks because other people were still trying, so he stayed. Yeah. So I just played another character until the next day, and then he was gone. His mom told him to yeah. His mom told him it was bedtime because it was like 7.30. <laughs> and then he said, Mom, I don't want to brush my teeth. To his trade, but only in cities. Gotcha. 
You would think they would have made two local defense and three trade. In that case, that way one and two is always available. I don't know. Thunder Bluff. I hit level 55, so I'm going to go stable one of my pets. Probably Granilla. And then I'm going to go... Learn Upgraded Skinning. Because I can do that. Did I get anything at 55? No, 57 is my next. Yeah, Skinning I can already upgrade it. Because I think I could upgrade it at 350. Did I get any le did I get any leather for leather working? Two. <laughs> Never last. It's <laughs> actually a really good way. See I got I got some leather working stuff here though, that's cool. Crafting region, that's for cooking. Okay, that's sellable. Bones, hearts, that's a gun, not as good as mine, more bones, there's a claw, that's engineering, okay. Man. I'm going to have to hold on to some of my leather because some of this stuff just won't won't fit in my bank because I don't have a bag in there yet. I don't know. I may go to I may go see if there's a bag vendor or go to the auction house and see how much bags they are selling for. They're probably selling for like 60 bajillion gold because yeah. everything on the auction house costs infinity dollars. Uh huh? Yeah, action house. You managed to get away? Awesome job, Baka. Yay! Yeah, they usually won't chase you because they want to stay in the quest area so they can farm newbies. So, like, just go to the other quest area in the zone and do quests over there for a while. Hey, it's bedtime. Yes, but it's Friday and I don't have to get up for work tomorrow. So I don't have to go to bed exactly at 10. 30. <laughs> 30 late. So I need to find a... The, the pet trainer is near the regular bank. I know that. That's where the stable master is. Quartermaster. Thunderbluff Satchel is a 16 slot bag. Oh, for reserved. Revered, sorry. I was all like, see it! Sick. I don't know what that Go was. In peace. I can't buy that bag. I'm not I'm not exalted or revered or whatever. Wait, is this where leatherworking is? No, it's the next one. It's here. Can you I heard you can buy playtime instead of paying. Yes. Yes, you can. How may I aid you? But you have to be really good. All right, she can only train me up to level eighty at five hundred. But I know Very it goes well. higher than that. Okay, so my skinning is maxed with her. Greetings. Leatherworking, oh, <laughs> level thirty-five requirement. <laughs> I'm behind. That's funny. Go in peace. Can I do anything? I don't think I can. I could do one thing. Yeah, I don't have I don't have enough heavy heavy leather. Okay. Is there a bag merchant? Not here. Enchanting. Fruit vendor, bower, and fletching goods. Well met. Remember when you had to make your own arrows? May the eternal sun shine upon thee. Bring.
bread bread vendor. Auctioneer. Greetings, All right. Uh, wow tokens. Hundred and eighty three thousand one seventy for a WoW token. Adds thirty games thirty days of game time. Huh. Not bad. Okay. Armor containers, this is what I want. Another working bag. Search. Thirteen thirteen hundred eighty five and fifty. What about a regular bag? Two thousand for Hexaweave? Holy shite. Let's sort by price. Here we go. Look at that. Journeyman is fourteen, Netherweave is sixteen. That's a seven gold difference for just two slots. That's not bad. Uh, Hexaweaver, 30. Small leather ammo pouch, 6. He wants 50,000. Who are these people? Who do these people think they are? That's just so dumb. They don't check the auction house at all. I guess they're hoping somebody makes a mistake. How much gold do I have? 85. Wait, I have... I think I have bags on one of my other characters. Hold on. So I got I got really helpful information where somebody said that the guild dude the guild bank was next to the totem. Oh, it is the totem. Oh, well that's different. Okay. Cured medium hide, light leather. Alchemy. Let's take, see there's medium leather. Let's put the enchanting thing in there. Leatherworking 285. Why are these here? Hold on. Let's take that. You cannot withdraw that much from the guild bank. Oh. Well, whatever. That's fine. Alchemy. That's jewel crafting. Engineering. Cooking. Cooking. These are all my leather working ones, right? Okay. Can I pick this up and take it over like that? No, it won't let me do that. Okay. So there's a limited amount of stuff I can take out per day. Alright, regular bank. Oh, the lockboxes, you're right. I don't need them. Cool. Our bank, my bank... Greetings. Yeah. Okay, my bank my bank is full. Goodbye. We camp. Let me look at uh, this guy. 
This is the character that the other that the hacker was using to send stuff back and forth. This is an auctioneer. Where's the bank here? I don't know this area. The Bizarre Royal Exchange, I would assume. Nope. Well, he's got equip he's got stuff on him. So I'm waiting until this stuff becomes useful to me. Uh, or Royal Exchange is this way, okay. Or until I can hold all the stuff. What level is this guy? He's still level one. He was just being used as a... Yeah, he was just being used as a placeholder. The guy started a guild so he could have a guild bank to store stuff into. Where's the bank? Royal exchange is still this way. I'm guessing the whole point of him hacking you is to take all the stuff off of you. Yeah, yeah. Take all the stuff off my guy, delete them, and then uh, sell all my gear and move the gold to one of their characters so that they could steal all my gold that way. How the, where the hell am I? The banks are in the bazaar? No. Oh. All right, we'll go back. I don't know this place at all. This place is far too big for these people being so small. Look at that guy. All the guards are chasing him. <laughs> Bottom right side of the bazaar. It's like over here. This guy has a bag on him. He has another wheat bag. I can't get there through here. Maladash, Malanori. Okay. Tradesman. Wayfarer's Rest. Bank of Silvermoon. Here we go. The eternal sun guides us. Okay. Keep your wits about you. Let's try this. Where is... Give me some names, Baka. Let's try to mail some of this to myself. I may mail some of it to Garrick. Yeah, I exited the guild. I deleted the guild. Usopp, that sound that actually does sound familiar. Guild blank. Yeah, see, guild bank closure. I have stuff here. He was mailing stuff around. Delete that. Mark of Sargeras, Mark of Kill Jaden. I don't know what any of this stuff is for. I can't carry anymore. Boom. Inventory okay. is full. And it costs money to okay, so we're gonna send mail to Garrick. Stuff. And we're going to send him this and this. A 
That's all I can send. Okay. Send. Send that. Send that, and then to pull back, we're gonna send this, this, and that. I can't trade that. You cannot mail soulbound items. Oh, it's soulbound. That sucks. Well, that's bound to me. <laughs> well, that ain't happening. At least I got the cloth. Oh, and that needs to go to Garrick. Okay. Well, I can't send myself bags then. Never mind. There went that idea. Well, now I can safely lead, safely delete this character at least. All right, delete character. He's gone. So somebody said there was a bag vendor somewhere. There's a 14 slot for 12 gold at the merchant. There's a bag merchant on the main island on the west side. It's over here somewhere. Weapons. Trade supplies. Bag vendor. Here we go. The winds guide you. 20 slot enchanting satchel. Uh, gem pouch. Engineering, 14 slot, nothing. Mining sack. So this is 10 gold for a 14 slot bag. May the eternal sun shine. Buy two of those. Why do I need bags? So that I can put stuff in my bank? My bank is very clustered. Well met. There we go. Yep. Yep. Okay. Alright, now. Light leather. Thick. Thick. Rugged. Meat heavy. I don't have any medium, do I? Leather scraps and hide will go in here. That is leather, technically. That's hide. That's hide. And then other material, other leatherworking materials will go in this bag. So like dyes. String. Stuff like that. Cloth will stay out here. Wait, what is this? Rune cloth. I'll stick it there. That's cooking. I'll also buy another bag slot just so I have one available for later. 25 for the next one. Not a big deal. Alright, so now I can take these, put these in here. Close those bags. The rest of that stuff is sellables. So stable master. Uh, uh, stable my pet. You. I have a generic turtle in there. Oh, I have that one. Alright, so let's put Granilla in there. So I have a wind serpent and mock. Walk with the earth, mother. What does train mean? Choo choo! People say they're gonna do a train on him. Oh! What does that mean? Oh, that's different. That's a different kind of train. A, uh. A train is a. 
a... Ugh. You wish to speak? Yes, it's a bunch of people following after each other. Good, good, good way to say that. Walk with the Earth Mother. Thank you, Neverlast. What brings you here? Oh, all that junk. Again. Okay, we're done in the city. Leatherworking can now go up to 450, which is excellent. Good lord, that startled me. <laughs> Where's the first aid trainer? I might be able to level my first aid. Is there a guard over here? Here's guards. Peace, friend. Uh, I need a profession trainer. First aid. Go in. Over there. Yeah, pulling a train on, on somebody. So, like, if there's a bunch of horde people saying, I'm going to pull a train on this alliance guy... That means they're all gonna gang up on him. What brings you here? Level fifty-eight. Oh, you dick. <laughs> in... Why you gotta be so weird with the levels? It's like each profession has its has a different leveling scale. But hey, I'll level up first aid before we go to the Outlands then. What brings you here? Tanaris. Uh, I think I had quests in the south part of Tanaris. I did. So let's fly there. Peace, friend. Goodbye. Cool. So, I was able to clean up a lot of what I was doing. My bags are clean again. <laughs> what level am I? 55. Oh, I can track my tracking. I can track bankers, oh, that's profession that's trainers. All of that. Oh my god! Can everybody do that, or is is that just a hunter thing? Like everybody would be able to do these, I assume. I guess hunter tracking is the only bonus stuff that I get. Man, back in the day, hunters were the only ones that could track anything. Like, nobody else got that option. <laughs> that little magnifying glass. Neverlast has earned the achievement Eastern Plaguelands quest. Oh, the Plaguelands are so cool. Eastern and Western Plaguelands, I loved those areas. That's where I quested with Garrick the first time. I 
don't know if they'd be lore wise for me. They're certainly they're they're definitely fun zones. It's just having all of that nasty gross crap out there is really entertaining. All the undead and all the plagued dudes and ugh, it's just You've got the abominations out there that are fun. Oh, you have a hard on for Lorecraft 3 and Scourge lore? Well, if, if that's your case, then yeah. Those. That's probably why you like the Eastern Kingdoms. Because most of most of Warcraft 3 takes place in the Eastern Kingdoms, doesn't it? I mean, there's obviously some over in Kalimdor with the uh, uh, with the Torrens and whatnot, but Found Gormash. Who is Gormash? Is that one of the uh, the Tyrannosauruses? Some elite in the tar pits. Oh, so he's like a swamp monster. I think. He's actually, I think he's a quest, uh, a quest monster. Where does that take me? That looks like Ankara stuff. Oh, it takes you into Uldum. Okay, well that explains it. He's dead now. Awesome. I've never actually been to Uldum. It's over level for me, obviously. 83 to 90. I don't think it was available when I was playing seven years ago. There were a couple of zones that just, like, all, all, Mount Hyjal didn't exist. Like, it existed here, but you couldn't get into it. Was there anything in Eastern Kingdoms you couldn't get into? I don't think so. I think Eastern Kingdoms... Twilight Highlands, maybe? Nah, every, pretty much everything over here was available. Oh, I don't remember these. These look new. I think Twisted Kingdoms might have been locked, and these are new.
Twilight Highlands wasn't available. You could technically get into Mount Hyjal, but it was instance-based only. All right. I think I'm going to go ahead and call it here for tonight, everybody. So thank you guys for coming and hanging out. I do appreciate it. Baka's going to hit 58 here shortly because she's already 57. So I guess I'll have to hit 58 tomorrow. <laughs> and then she and I will go over to the Outlands and check it out. So thanks for coming, and we'll see y'all next time.